Good morning guys, it's Scott here from Scott Phillips Trading. I thought I'd do my morning scan and show you the stuff that I think is significant for the day. Um, so the way I approach this is, is I look at all the markets on a daily chart in order to see what I see and see what's interesting there. Um, so first up we have the uh, S&P 500 futures up here. Uh, this has broken out above the old highs a couple of days ago. This is unreservedly bullish. We, you know, we've we have uh, we have one, two, three, four, four days in a row with with uh, where the market was so strong it couldn't break the previous daily low. There was a whole bunch of scary news in the Nasdaq about Facebook plunging. Um, Plunging 20%, the market just laughed it off. It gapped down hard, tried to go down, closed up. Um, this is a bullish Thor setup. If you want to take this one, the way you play it is long here, stop here. And uh, yeah, the indexes look like they're going up. They're behaving like markets that want to go up. Um, this could go on for a while, guys, and it looks overwhelmingly likely that uh, that we test these old highs here. So chances are we're going to we're going to at least test. Treat that test as a pass or fail. Nobody knows if it's going to pass or if it's going to fail. I certainly don't. Um, I prefer to wait and see what happens rather than guess at it because it's kind of dumb. Okay, so let's look at the next thing here is uh, crude oil. So after this leg up, this is strong enough that we would expect a second leg. So we have a pullback that's shaken everyone out. This is probably a little deeper than we'd expect. We have a retest of the lows here. We have an opportunity to go down on the shooting star candle. We have an outside bar here, which most often happens um, three to five bars from a turning point. You can see one, two, three bars from a turning point. Now we have a textbook bullish hammer here. You can go long here, stop here. Um, crude looks crude looks good for bullish plays today. Okay. Um, natural gas. Let me just reload that data. That doesn't look right to me. Okay, so we're retesting this low. Um, no, that uh, that data does not look right. Let me just uh, Ninja Trader does this sometimes. Uh, inexplicably, it just kind of shows you the wrong data every now and again. So. Let's try reloading it. Change that to 1440 minute, which is daily, and see how it looks totally different now. Um, templates. This is one of the re this is one of the reasons why I hate uh, hate Ninja Trader is because you can never 100% trust the data, and that's the one thing that that you have to do in trading is to be able to trust your uh, uh, your eyes to see what's going on. And so, 100 100 reasons why Ninja Trader sucks. Okay, so we have a completed retest of the lows on this gap down. Um, we have a, uh, a shooting star sell, which is absolutely a bad sell to take, and it falls within the, uh, if you've done the webinar on the, on the Thor system, it falls within the volatility skip ex exemption. So anytime you see a nice smooth trend with uh, uh, increases in volatility towards the end, it's a good time to stand aside. I would expect this to be entered, failed, and, uh, and reversing up. Now, the big news of the day is the dollar index. And we talked about it yesterday staying out of the water until we saw uh, that this trend line held. So we have a trend line here, which touched and held perfectly. So what this tells us is that we have a bullish engulfing outside bar here. After the market has been bearish for some time, it hit this, rallied hard. This looks pretty good for a run up to fresh highs, and you can see these Bollingers are pinching. Now what a pinched Bollinger is, you can see it here, is a decrease in volatility, which typically happens 
before we go on a run. So we're seeing signs that the market is gearing up for a run. And so uh, in a minute, we're going to look across the rest of the, uh, um, the currency complex. And we're going to see if that plays out across the border, if that's just a one-off and, and just on the DX, which it almost never is. Okay, so let me change to a different workspace. Let's change to bonds. So um, bonds, we saw exactly this Bollinger pinch and, and down. We're short, still short. We have this very steady, smooth walk down behavior that you can see in all these markets. So we're not... Wow, this one, this looks great. This shooting star here, sell here, stop here. That's a wonderful trade to take. Um, on the two year, it's just steady marching down, no end in sight. Um, same deal on the five year and the ZN. The ZN is probably the probably the five year is the pick of these, I think. Five year or the or, or the ten year. Um, these are great trades, and we're going and like we talked about yesterday, we're going to be looking at. Uh, at these for the fail breakout, and I'm going to show you in a second how we do that. Let me just just switch workspaces. Let's look at metals. Okay, so we have in gold something interesting. We had a mean reversion setup, which looks like it's maybe about to fail, maybe not. Um, this is a bit late in the game for me um, with the, di the di differences between the different metals in the metals complex. You can see gold is bearish, silver bearish, palladium is starting to rally and retest, platinum same deal, copper same deal. Um, we had the retest in copper a bit earlier. Um, yeah, these are valid trend following setups, but uh, um, there is better ones available today. So, uh, so let's look at the currencies because this is important. So, we decided to stay out of, of these markets until they sort of got their shit correct. And here we have a complete rejection of the upside. Um, we uh, in Aussie dollar USD, we always have. We always have uh, uh, three theories. We have uptrend, downtrend, and sideways. And once we're in a sideways, you can just assume that sideways is going to go on until until something tells you that the sideways is over. So we're probably still in a sideways period here. It's very speculative to take take these trades, but in a sideways period, we can expect it at least to get down to here. So what that means for us today is that we have a high probability of downside continuation. Um, you see the same thing in the Kiwi. Um, it hit this upper Bollinger reversed. Um, the cable is a little weaker. Um, the Euro USD, same basic deal. So, uh, um, you know, so the big question is, does this play out with a new leg down? And obviously, this sort of triangle pattern type thing here, uh, if it if it resolves to the downside, it's going to uh, it's going to play out quite hard. Sorry, this uh, chart arranging thing is yet another reason why Ninja Trader sucks. Yeah, I know I'm still using it. It's because I'm an idiot. Okay, now the one that I'm I'm the, this one is probably going to go up, but it's not that appealing after this big high volatility drop. Uh, I would stand aside from USD JPY today. It's just there's better looking ones around. So USD CHF. This is the money one from here because. Uh, in an uptrend, any sort of close below, uh, close in the lower half of, of the trading range with the retest, if this makes a new leg up, this is the perfect place to get position. So this is a setup I'm uh, taking myself long here. Stop here, nice tight range stop. Even if it's just a trading range and we get to there, you still have an... Uh, uh, you still have enough risk reward ratio to make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so let's drop into the fail breakout system and the new system, which I haven't named yet.
Okay, the uh, the markets that I'm I'm short ZN, which is the same basic thing as as ZB. Um, when we get a breakdown of this and then we retest any high, you can get short on any break of the low with a stop here. Now these are wide range uh, retests of drops, and we've got one setting up now that should kick off in the next uh, in in one hour's time. So so you get a big pullback. You get a move in that direction, you think you've missed the boat, and then you get one bar that retests it, or two or three bars that retest it. So, trade that short here with a stop here, and I'll be taking it, but I'll probably take it in ZF, which I think is a little nicer. Now, things to note here is that. Decreasing volatility as a move goes on, which you see here, is a very strong indication that the move is going to last a while. So, uh, uh, so that's a, a positive for this trade. I mean, obviously, you know, it's just it's just another trade. It's nothing. Uh, it's, it's nothing magical about it. It's just uh, it's just another trade, but it's a nice one. So, uh, I will be taking. I will be taking it. So, other things that can be on your radar for today, uh, we have no, we have no pullback on the dollar index yet. A pullback on this and then take off is a good trade to take. Um, these are all the base, same basic things. So what you can't do is go taking a bunch of different ones today. Um, you just got to pick one. Um, the one I like is USDCHF. You could take it on a daily basis, or you could wait for a retest here, which is probably going to close. It actually, it already is closed lows. So, so try not to chase. If you can get it for this price here, with a stop here, that's a really nice trade. Okay, guys, that's about it for today.